So this afternoon we're going to do a World Cafe. How many of you have ever done a World Cafe before? And so the theme for this cafe is building a strong future for nursing in South Dakota starting now. What can you, what can South Dakota, what can we do now to enhance patient care delivery? Um, money. Evaluating the care delivery model and making sure that we're utilizing each role to its fullest capacity. Ours was focused on education, so having access to ongoing education for our nurses. Employee well-being, focusing on their mental and emotional health, developing things like recharge rooms. Continuity of care of travel staff and because all of us at our table are critical access hospitals and we don't feel like the care is always patient-centered. Being able to utilize telehealth when uh, when it's cap uh, a service that you're capable of using for people if they don't need to come in and see you to save the patient's travel time and time sitting in a waiting room. Uh. What bold steps can you imagine taking to create a strong future for nursing in South Dakota? Big campaign. Uh, we talked about online education, maybe adding to that. We really believe there's an opportunity for the state of South Dakota to create a shared vision and a comprehensive strategic plan looking at healthcare workforce and nursing. We talked about creating a South Dakota-based traveling nurse uh, pool. There's not enough housing. There's no place to put these nurses, so they're not going to move to rural America. So offering a benefit like housing financial assistance. Uh, but nearby nursing home consolidation and merges. 100% free tuition for nurses. So we really looked at reimagining care system-wide in conjunction. So this is where we felt really needed to be in conjunction with reimagining our current educational model. What can you do, do to move from idea to action? We will talk about the establishment of a burning platform. We did talk a little bit about, you know, what is really the plan after this discussion and who's going to carry the message forward, to whom, by when. Having some TV commercials, it's not meth we're on it, but something of that nature that would be that catchy that people would want to be a nurse in a positive way, not like that, but you get the idea. Just the importance of flexibility and scheduling. But maybe just communication with the high school and really working on getting some kind of shadow opportunities and you know getting our scrubs camp going again. All right, we thought a uh, healthcare uh, marketing uh, campaign uh, for the state would be really beneficial uh, to help uh, recruit uh, professionals to the state, uh, not just for nurses, but for everything in general. Better partnership with the state. So having those contacts within the state agencies that you can reach out to on a daily, weekly basis to have conversations if a small hospital could do an after-school program for middle school students um, for healthcare exposure, so they started learning about it then and could come in, and it would also build in some mentorship with students. We said we need leadership that understands the issues, and we really have to get behind politicians who have the knowledge and they support healthcare. There's some value in having that come through the governor's office in convening a group. There's also power certainly in Sadaho, but Sadaho doesn't necessarily represent all of healthcare um, entities in the state, and so, but they, uh, you know, cover a lion's share of it. So you know, there, I mean, there's pros and cons in that regard. So uh, we really talked about this not being a, a quick fix. This is probably a minimum of maybe a five-year solution. Um, but to really look at um, health systems looking at nursing pathways. And so to start, start in the clinical realm, really focus on what those clinical skill sets need to be to build those clinical strengths. Then um, possibly moving into administrative roles as well as moving into um, clinical education. We did talk about um, paying for school. Um, but then there was talk if we pay for their schooling and all their schooling is paid for, are they going to work as hard for that? Because everybody here at this table pays for their schooling, but there's that with contracts that they would have to pass their classes and kind of like the Dakota Bill. And then our biggest thing was housing assistance. 
um, providing a down payment on a mortgage with a contract. Opportunities for flexible scheduling and shift variations. Um, the ability to really kind of adapt to the nurses that you have in your area, your, your facility individually, um, and then try to make those uh, shifts uh, appealing to people who have multiple children, different, different types of life situations. And basically the main concepts we came to after doing that were creative engagement with school districts and, and being actively engaged with them because the state can't solve every problem and this is one problem that um, local places are going to have to take from a grassroots perspective as well with the support of the state. Um, we talked a lot about um, a peer support or a mentorship program to give nurses outlets to talk about their daily activities, about um, their challenges, their experiences.